Welcome to the Sitecore Managed Cloud and Solar webinar featuring Grant Killian from Sitecore and Samir Magan from SearchStacks. Grant is the Director of Global Cloud Operations and manages the Sitecore Managed Cloud focused on the Americas. Samir is the founder and CEO of SearchStacks, which builds, operates, and manages the underlying solar infrastructure for the Sitecore Managed Cloud. Today's webinar will cover the following. A brief overview of Sitecore Managed Cloud and Solar. What is the value that Managed Cloud customers get from using Solar with Search Stacks? What are the three big questions asked about Managed Cloud and Solar? What are the Solar disaster recovery options for Managed Cloud? And finally, how is support handled with Managed Cloud? Grant, can you give us a brief overview of Sitecore Managed Cloud and Solar? Yeah, yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, so Sitecore Managed Cloud Standard is Sitecore's fully supported infrastructure solution that powers Sitecore implementations. There's a couple of varieties of Managed Cloud. There's Managed Cloud Premium, which I'm not closely involved with, but Sitecore Managed Cloud Standard is really kind of in my wheelhouse. And it's an Azure-based solution um, that's primarily using Azure App Services as the uh, method of running websites for Sitecore. And Sitecore Managed Cloud Standard then also uses Azure SQL for data storage and persistence, Azure Redis Cache for session state, uh, Azure Service Bus as a message um, infrastructure. And then when it comes to search, for the reason we're here, um, there's two options, there's Azure Search and there's Solar. Uh, for Solar, we work with search stacks, so our teams kind of combine to provide a top to bottom support for solutions to customers that are using Solar as the search provider to Sitecore. And I guess maybe I should also note there's two primary ways that search factors into a Sitecore implementation, at least by default. And one is the uh, way you present content when customers do a search on your website, like searching a product catalog or searching a set of articles, and that content gets displayed on the website. And then the second is internal to Sitecore. It's operational um, queries and indexes that Sitecore's internal, I guess, microservices use to retrieve data efficiently. And so the search provider plays an important part for both those two main use cases. And that's something I think people sometimes overlook, but um, Score is really, uh, in my opinion, the, the best in breed solution for, for both of those. Grant, what's the value that customers get from solar and using search stacks? Well, I think solar is a complicated system in its own right. So Sitecore is a, com a set of systems that are built together and they work together to um, help solve problems for our customers. And solar is an important part of that, but it's also its own kind of distributed system. And so um, having search taxes expertise at the ready for our solar customers is really key because when it comes to Azure search, um, the alternative search provider, we don't have deep Azure search expertise, not on the Sitecore team, they're focused on the application. We don't have like a, uh, uh, Azure Search uh, partner like Search Stack. So uh, we quickly run out of um, runway and our depth um, is not, not there really on the Azure Search side. So instead, most enterprise customers see the value of working with um, Search Stacks and the solar technology stack because we do leverage Search Stacks' deep expertise in the solar product. And so I've yet to return a customer away who asks us something um, relating to Sitecore and solar. So we can go to search stacks, we can work together and figure out solutions. We don't have that option with Azure Search. So we kind of, unfortunately, once in a while, we'll have to tell customers they're going to need to pursue other options for support. So when it comes to customers who are looking for an end-to-end -end solution, um, and you know, supported by SLAs and all the other great things that enterprises expect from many services, uh, I think search stacks is, is our partner for solar and it's um, definitely to the benefit of our customers. Samir, do you have anything else you'd like to add to that? Yeah, thanks, Grant. I think, you know, uh, at a high level from search stack side, you know, our value proposition is really customers don't have to spend time learning, building, and operating a search infrastructure. You know, instead, you know, as Grant mentioned, right, I mean, they have the you know, resources, and really we'd like them to deploy their valuable resources and time where it matters, you know, which is kind of really either pushing their business forward, pushing product innovation, and kind of delivering you know, solutions to, to kind of core customer problems, and just not having to deal with search infrastructure. Grant, what are the three big questions you get asked about solar? 
the three questions I think we, we hear most often um, from customers are how do they add fields to their solar indexes? How do they add a new solar collection or a solar core? Um, which those two both speak to how do you customize solar to suit your purposes? And then the third question I think we get quite a bit is how do you rebuild the solar um, search indexes? And in Sitecore's case, the Sitecore Analytics Index has a special, I guess, uh, spot in the documentation and requires some special handling. So those three, I think, are the main questions. And I know as far as how do you add fields, there's some good documentation um, on Sitecore's site. I know you're going to share that here um, so we can refer okay. customers to that. There's also, I should add, in general, the, the process of altering your solar schema is through an API, whether it's the ZK CLI or um, I know Search Tax has their own API that is probably the best practice for working with it. But customers can choose, you know, the model that suits them. But there's documentation that you'll share and they can work through whichever pattern suits their purposes. And as far as adding collections, Sitecore's administrative UI is always available. Um, that's something I think customers sometimes wonder about. Is solar, you know, is it the same solar that there would be running um, on premises or on a dev workstation? And it is um, in the sense that you have the same admin UI. Um, so you can have access to work with your collections and your fields that way too. But you could also use the APIs um, to work with adding a collection or adding a solar core that way. As far as rebuilding the indexes, Sitecore um, has an interface for rebuilding search indexes, uh, which I think we don't need to go into here. But the analytics index, the special um, Sitecore analytics index that you would go through um, and rebuild periodically if you say update what type of analytics data you're, you're storing for your customers, or if you know, as part of an upgrade or a migration, you need to do it. Sitecore's documentation speaks to that. And the good thing is by hosting your solar in a search stacks uh, supported environment, all that documentation applies. Sitecore Managed Cloud does include disaster recovery options um, for customers where they can pick from the model that suits them, whether it's uh, a cold DR or a hot, warm DR, there's a couple of different scenarios there. I don't wanna get into the specifics, other than we've worked closely with search tax to define these patterns and um, are continuing to improve upon them, I think. And I know search tax does a lot of interesting work um, like around CDCR, for example, disaster recovery that Managed Cloud is, is seriously looking at including into our platform at some point in the future. Grant, could you explain how support works with Managed Cloud and, and search tax? Yeah, our Managed Cloud standard team is the single point of contact for all infrastructure um, topics, whether it's solar or other aspects of Sitecore. So it's convenient for a customer, they can put the request in to our Sitecore team and our cloud experts would assess the situation. If we need to engage the solar expertise of SearchX, we would reach out to them on behalf of the client. And this is all happening seamlessly from the customer's perspective. So what happens is we'll come back to the customer with the results of our communication with SearchX and um, provide recommendations and in many cases, you know, suggestions for time windows for when we could you know, pursue some maintenance or updates, that type of thing. So the customers really have a single, um, single party that they're working with and that's Sitecore in the conversation. And they're not having to manage communications across different organizations. Um, I know sometimes that's a, a big advantage of the managed cloud standard platform is you're just working with Sitecore and you're not having to coordinate across a variety of vendors. This concludes the Sitecore Search Stacks webinar with Grant Killian and Samir Megan. One more time, here are the two knowledge base articles that Grant mentioned earlier in the webinar. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on our next webinar.